Today I'm going to show you the progress that I've made after one year of working on my virtual reality game, Sail. What's going on guys, G119 here, I'm also named Gary if you want to call me that. I'm the developer and creator behind Sail, the open world VR pirate game, and it is officially one year old. I've been working on this game for a year now, and I want to share with you guys the progress that I've made on the game in one year of developing it, and some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. So let's get started. Lesson number one, send it. Let's go back to July 2020. It's the middle of the COVID pandemic, and in the middle of working one of my three jobs and doing full-time school, I finally decided to send it and start making the game that my brother and I had been talking about making for years. So I made a new Unity project, came up with a piratey name, and drug in a few Unity assets. And that was it. I'm not kidding. The first release of Sail was literally a free boat model that I found on the Unity Asset Store with the default VRIF player dragged into it and some climbing added to the model's mesh collider. And on top of it, the ship was sailing infinitely backwards. Guys, that was the start of Sail. I took that build and made an app listing on SideQuest with an oversimplified description that explained my vision for the game. And on July 13th, 2020, I sent it into the internet void to see if anyone liked my idea for a VR pirate game. Turns out they did. In the first week, I got over 500 downloads and had people begging me to start a Discord and make this game happen. So, lesson number one, just send it. Things could end up being better than you think. With the overwhelmingly positive feedback and support from eager VR pirates, I got to work. I first fixed the boat and made it sail in the right direction. Then I added in a sword and some things to break with it, I then added in a cannon, some hidden objects, and finally I made the boat move. Now boat movement was a major milestone for me because before making the boat controller I was pretty much copying and pasting my way to victory. But it turns out not many people have done stuff with VR boat physics, so I had to hard code everything from scratch. So I started out by looking into boat physics, I gave up trying to understand boat physics, and basically made an oversimplified boat that basically acted like a car drifting on ice, and sent that out to the community to give me feedback on. They hated it. Okay, that's not true, but a lot of people said it didn't feel boaty enough, and there were some serious bugs, and that led me to the second lesson I've learned this year, which is use feedback. Most people, when you call them out on their garbage work, get offended and instead of changing, they justify their work or their behavior with some BS excuse. I know how frustrating this is from a user perspective because that was literally my college experience. Literally every semester, professors would ask, how can we improve this course? And we would tell them how to do so. And instead, they would come back from the feedback and just justify why they're going to keep doing it the exact same way that they were doing it before. And I hated that. So when I started getting some negative feedback on sale, I decided I wasn't going to be like my professors and I was going to try and improve based off the feedback I got. And so I did. And as a result of that, the boat controls got better way faster, and the game got better, and the community got stronger. Now, at this point, I had realized that in order to convey my vision for sale properly to the community, I needed more assets, and I was going to have to spend money on them. So, I finally busted out the cash and bought the Polygon Pirates Pack, and did a major visual overhaul on the entire game, and finally let players use their boat to get to and from islands. And with multiple islands and the ability to get in and out of the ship, I was now ready to create the first sail treasure hunt. This treasure hunt is actually still in the game as of uploading this video, but the coolest part about building that treasure hunt and releasing it was the community racing to be the first ones to finish it. Which leads me into the next lesson I learned this year, and that is communities are the best. Uh, the sale community has literally been around since the first or second build I published, and every step of the way you guys have been encouraging, hilarious, and just plain awesome. If you're looking to start a game, be sure to create a Discord and get a community going, because there's literally nothing better. In our little crew, we've had several community competitions, but my favorite is still the treasure hunt, because I purposefully didn't let anyone try the treasure hunt build before I released it, because I wanted to reward the community. And I did so by immortalizing the name of the first person who solved the treasure hunt, and you can still see his name on the treasure chest today. Now, up until I got funding, I'd been working on sale in just my spare time, which spare time after three jobs, full-time school, a wife and daughter, was typically between 30 and 90 minutes most weeknights. So after getting funding and starting to work on the game full-time, things really picked up. 
I was able to get an infinite ocean, procedural skybox, and a basic weapon shop set up and running in less than a month, whereas previously that would have taken me three to six months. And that pretty much brings us up to today. What started as a ship sailing infinitely backwards is now one of the top 100 side quest games with a community of over 500 people, and we're not stopping there. My dream for sale right now is that this time next year, you'll see us right at the top of the charts, which leads to my last lesson I've learned this year. Dream big, because why not? Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. It supports the game and supports me in making this dream happen. And like the video if you had a good time, and we'd love to see you in the Discord. Link's down in the description below. And I'll be back next week with another devlog.